a well-designed rivet joint will subject the rivets to shear loads. A main difference between lock bolt, huck bolt tension, and shear fasteners other than their application is in the number of locking collar grooves. Alloy 2117 rivets are heat treated by the manufacturer and do not require heat treatment before being driven. The general rule for finding the proper rivet diameter is three times the thickness of the thickest sheet. The shop head of a rivet should be one and one half times the diameter of the rivet shank. One of the main advantages of high lock type fasteners over earlier generations is that they can be installed with ordinary hand tools. Which of the following is one advantage of high lock fasteners? Inability to be over torqued. The markings on the head of a dues fastener identify the body diameter, type of head, and length of the fastener. The dues turn lock fastener consists of a stud, grommet, and receptacle. The stud length is measured in hundredths of an inch. The dues turn lock fastener consists of a stud, grommet, and receptacle. The stud diameter is measured in sixteenths of an inch. Threaded rivets, rivnuts, are commonly used to attach parts or components with screws to sheet metal. The installation of Cherry Max and Olympic lock rivets is accomplished by utilizing a pulling tool. Hole filling fasteners, for example, MS20470 rivets, should not be used in composite structures primarily because of the possibility of causing delamination. Metal fasteners used with carbon graphite composite structures must be constructed of material such as titanium or corrosion resistant steel. Sandwich panels made of metal honeycomb construction are used on modern aircraft because this type of construction has a high strength to weight ratio. 1. When performing a ring coin tap test on composite structures, a change in sound may be due to damage or to transition to a different internal structure. 2. The extent of separation damage in composite structures is most accurately measured by a ring coin tap test. Regarding the above statements, only number one is true. Which of these methods may be used to inspect fiberglass or honeycomb structures for entrapped water? 1. Acoustic emission monitoring. 2. X-ray. 3. Backlighting. 2 and 3. When balsa wood is used to replace a damaged honeycomb core, the plug should be cut so that the grain is perpendicular to the skin. When repairing puncture type damage of a metal faced laminated honeycomb panel, the edges of the doubler should be tapered to 100 times the thickness of the metal. One of the best ways to assure that a properly prepared batch of matrix resin has been achieved is to have mixed enough for a test sample. How does acoustic emission testing detect defects in composite materials? 
by picking up the noise of any deterioration that may be present. When conducting a tap test on a composite panel, which of the following sounds would indicate the lamination? Dull thud. What precaution, if any, should be taken to prevent corrosion inside a repaired metal honeycomb structure? Prime the repair with a corrosion inhibitor and seal from the atmosphere. One method of inspecting a laminated fiberglass structure that has been subject to damage is to strip the damaged area of all paint and shine a strong light through the structure. When inspecting a composite panel using the ring test or tapping method, a dull thud may indicate separation of the laminates. How many of the following are benefits of using micro balloons when making repairs to laminated honeycomb panels? One, greater concentrations of resin in edges and corners. Two, improved strength to weight ratio. Three, less density. Four, lower stress concentrations. 2, 3, and 4. The length of time that a catalyzed resin will remain in a workable state is called the pot life. A category of plastic material that is capable of softening or flowing when reheated is described as a thermoplastic. The classification for high tensile strength fiberglass used in aircraft structures is S-glass. Which is an identifying characteristic of acrylic plastics? Zinc chloride will have no effect. Superficial scars Scratches, surface abrasion, or rain erosion on fiberglass laminates can generally be repaired by applying one or more coats of suitable resin, room temperature catalyzed, to the surface. The classification for fiberglass reinforcement material that has high resistivity and is the most common is e-glass. A potted compound repair on honeycomb can usually be made on damages less than one inch in diameter. Composite fabric material is considered to be the strongest in what direction? Warp. What reference tool is used to determine how the fiber is to be oriented for a particular ply of fabric? Warp clock or compass? The strength and stiffness of a properly constructed composite buildup depends primarily on the orientation of the plies to the load direction. Which fiber to resin percent ratio for advanced composite wet layups is generally considered the best for strength? 60-40. What is the material layer used within the vacuum bag pressure system to absorb excess resin during curing called? Bleeder. Proper pre-preg composite layup curing is generally accomplished by 1. Applying external heat 2. Room temperature exposure 3. Adding a catalyst or curing agent 
to the resin for applying pressure. One and four. When repairing large flat surfaces with polyester resins, warping of the surface is likely to occur. One method of reducing the amount of warpage is to use short strips of fiberglass in the bonded repair. When making repairs to fiberglass, cleaning of the area to be repaired is essential for a good bond. The final cleaning should be made using MEK. When necessary, what type of cutting fluid is usually acceptable for machining composite laminates. Water only. Fiberglass laminate damage not exceeding the first layer or ply can be repaired by filling with a putty consisting of a compatible resin and clean short glass fibers. Fiberglass damage that extends completely through a laminated sandwich structure may be repaired. Fiberglass laminate damage that extends completely through one facing and into the core requires the replacement of the damaged core and facing. Repairing advanced composites using materials and techniques traditionally used for fiberglass repairs is likely to result in an unairworthy repair. The preferred way to make permanent repairs on composites is by laminating on new repair plies. Which of the following, when added to wet resins, provide strength for the repair of damaged fastener holes in composite panels? One, micro balloons. Two, flux. Three, chopped fibers. Two and three. The part of a replacement honeycomb core that must line up with the adjacent original is the ribbon direction. Which of the following are generally characteristic of aramid fiber Kevlar composites? One, high tensile strength. Two, flexibility. Three, stiffness. Four, corrosive effect in contact with aluminum. Five, Ability to conduct electricity. One and two. Which of the following are generally characteristic of carbon graphite fiber composites? One, flexibility. Two, stiffness. Three, high compressive strength. Four, corrosive effect in contact with aluminum. 5. Ability to conduct electricity. 2, 3, and 4. If an aircraft's transparent plastic enclosures exhibit fine cracks which may extend in a network over or under the surface or through the plastic, the plastic is said to be crazing. When installing transparent plastic enclosures, which are retained by bolts extending through the plastic material and self-locking nuts, the nuts should be tightened to a firm fit, then backed off one full turn. If a new safety belt is to be installed in an aircraft, the belt must conform to the strength requirements in which document? TSO C-22. Which is considered good practice concerning the installation 
of acrylic plastics. When rivets are used, adequate spacer or other satisfactory means to prevent excessive tightening of the frame to the plastic should be provided. The coefficient of expansion of most plastic enclosure materials is greater than both steel and aluminum. If no scratches are visible after transparent plastic enclosure materials have been cleaned, their surfaces should be covered with a thin coat of wax. Cabin upholstery materials installed in current standard category airplanes must be at least flame resistant. What is the most common method of cementing transparent plastics? Soak method. What type of bit should be used to drill holes in plexiglass? A specially modified twist drill. Which of the following drill bit types work best when drilling an aramid fiber Kevlar composite laminate? Carbide W point. What is the purpose of a gusset or gusset plate used in the construction and repair of aircraft structures? To join and reinforce intersecting structural members. Select the alternative which best describes the function of the flute section of a twist drill. Forms the cutting edges of the drill point. How many MS-20470 AD 4-6 rivets will be required to attach a 10 by 5 inch plate using a single row of rivets? minimum edge distance and 4D spacing. 56. On a semi monocue fuselage, the skin is reinforced by longitudinal structural members called longerons and stringers. Shallow scratches in sheet metal may be repaired by burnishing. What should be the included angle of a twist drill for soft metals? 90 degrees. When comparing the machining techniques for stainless steel sheet material to those for aluminum alloy sheet, it is normally considered good practice to drill the stainless steel at a lower speed with more pressure applied to the drill. A single lap sheet splice is to be used to repair a section of damaged aluminum skin. If a double row of eighth inch rivets is used, the minimum allowable overlap will be 3 sixteenths of an inch. What is the minimum edge distance allowed for aluminum alloy single lap sheet splices containing a single row of rivets? as compared to a joint with multiple rows, all rivets being equal in diameter. The minimum edge distance for a single row is equal to that for multiple rows. Which statement is true regarding the inspection of a stressed skin metal wing assembly known to have been critically loaded? If genuine rivet tipping has occurred, groups of consecutive rivet heads will be tipped in the same direction. What is the minimum edge distance for aircraft rivets? Two times the diameter of the rivet shank. When drilling stainless steel, the drill used should have an included angle of 140 degrees and turn at a low speed. What is the minimum spacing for a single row of aircraft rivets? 
three times the diameter of the rivet shank. Refer to figure one. Which of the rivets shown will accurately fit the conical depression made by a 100 degree countersink? Number one. Which is correct concerning the use of a file? Apply pressure on the forward stroke only except when filling very soft metals such as lead or aluminum. What is one of the determining factors which permits machine countersinking when flush riveting? Thickness of the material is greater than the thickness of the rivet head. When repairing a small hole on a metal stress skin, the major consideration in the design of the patch should be the sheer strength of the riveted joint. Which procedure is correct when using a reamer to finish a drilled hole to the correct size? Turn the reamer only in the cutting direction. Repairs or splices involving stringers on the lower surface of stress skin metal wings are usually permitted but are normally more critical in reference to strength and tension than similar repairs to the upper surface. When straightening members made of 2024 T4, you should straighten, cold, and reinforce. Clad aluminum alloys are used in aircraft because they have surface layers of pure aluminum or aluminum alloy bonded to the core material to inhibit corrosion. Which statement is true regarding a cantilever wing? No external bracing is needed. Aircraft structural units such as spars, engine supports, etc., which have been built up from sheet metal are normally repairable using approved methods. A factor which determines the minimum space between rivets is the diameter of the rivets being used. What should be the included angle of a twist drill for hard metal? 118 degrees. Parts fabricated from Alclad 2024 T3 aluminum sheet stock must have all Scratches, kinks, tool marks, nicks, etc. held to a minimum. The Monocue fuselage relies largely on the strength of skin or covering. Which parts of a semi-Monocue fuselage prevents tension and compression from bending the fuselage? Longerons and stringers. Rivet gauge or transverse pitch is the distance between the centers of rivets in adjacent rows. Rivet pitch is the distance between the centers of adjacent rivets in the same row. Refer to figure two. Select the preferred drawing for proper countersinking. 1. What is indicated by a black, smoky residue streaming back from some of the rivets on an aircraft? Fretting corrosion is occurring between the rivets and the skin. The identifying marks on the heads of aluminum alloy rivets indicate the specific alloy used in the manufacture of the rivets. When an MS-20470D rivet is installed, its full shear strength is obtained only after a period of age hardening. Which of the following need not be considered when determining minimum rivet spacing? Rivet length. 
what is the purpose of refrigerating 2017 and 2024 aluminum alloy rivets after heat treatment to retard age hardening? Under certain conditions, type A rivets are not used because of their low strength characteristics. A rivet set used to drive MS20470 rivets should have a slightly greater radius than the rivet head. Heat treated rivets in the D and double D series that are not driven within the prescribed time after heat treatment or removal from refrigeration must be reheat treated before use. The dimensions of an MS20430 AD 4-8 rivet are 1 8 inch in diameter and 1 half inch long. The primary alloying agent of 2024 T3 is indicated by the number 2. Which part of 2024 T3 aluminum alloy indicates the temper designation? T3. Which part of the 2017-T36 aluminum alloy designation indicates the primary alloying agent used in its manufacture? 2. A sheet metal repair is to be made using two pieces of 40 thousandths inch aluminum riveted together. All rivet holes are drilled for three 30 second inch rivets. The length of the rivets to be used will be quarter inch. Most rivets used in aircraft construction have dimples. MS 20426 AD 6-5 indicates a countersunk rivet which has an overall length of 5 sixteenths of an inch. Which rivet may be used as received without further treatment? 2117-T3. Refer to figure 3. Which is the grip length of the flush rivet? 3. Which rivet should be selected to join two sheets of 32 thousandths inch aluminum. MS 20470 AD 4-4. A sheet metal repair is to be made using two pieces of 0.0625 inch aluminum riveted together. All rivet holes are drilled for 1 8 inch rivets. The length of the rivets to be used will be 5 16 7 inch. Mild steel rivets are used for riveting steel parts. A double D rivet is heat treated before use to soften to facilitate riveting. When riveting dissimilar metals together, what precautions must be taken to prevent an electrolytic action? Place a protective separator between areas of potential electrical difference. The length of a rivet to be used to join a sheet of 32 thousandths inch and 64 thousandths inch aluminum alloy should be equal to one and one half times the rivet diameter plus 96 thousandths inch. What is generally the best procedure to use when removing a solid shank rivet? Drill to the base of the manufactured rivet head with a drill one size smaller than the rivet shank and remove the rivet with a punch. Joggles in removed rivet shanks would indicate partial shear failure. What type loads cause the most rivet failures? Shear. 
Which rivet is used for riveting magnesium alloy structures? 5056 aluminum. Which rivet is used for riveting nickel steel alloys? Monel. The length of rivet to be chosen when making a structural repair that involves the joining of 32 thousandths inch and 64 thousandths inch aluminum sheet drilled with a number 30 drill is 5 sixteenths inch. Refer to figure 4. The length of flat A is 3.750 inches. Refer to figure 4. The amount of material required to make the 90 degree bend is 0.3436 inch. Refer to figure 5. What is the length of flat A? 3.7 inches. Refer to figure 5. What is the flat layout dimension? 6.8 inches. If a streamlined cover plate is to be hand formed using a form block, a piece of dead soft aluminum should be first be placed over the hollow portion of the mold and securely fastened in place. The bumping operation should be started by tapping the aluminum lightly around the edges and gradually working down into the center. A piece of flat stock that is to be bent to a closed angle of 15 degrees must be bent through an angle of 165 degrees. When a piece of aluminum alloy is to be bent using a minimum radius for the type and thickness of material, the layout should be made so that the bend will be 90 degrees to the grain of the sheet. The flat layout or blank length of a piece of metal from which a simple L-shaped bracket 3 inches by 1 inch is to be bent depends upon the radius of the desired bend. The bracket which will require the greatest amount of material is one which has a bend radius of 1 8 inch. If it is necessary to compute a bend allowance problem and bend allowance tables are not available, the neutral axis of the bend can be found by adding approximately one half of the stock thickness to the bend radius. Unless otherwise specified, the radius of a bend is the inside radius of the metal being formed. The sharpest bend that can be placed in a piece of metal without critically weakening the part is called the minimum radius of bend. The most important factors needed to make a flat pattern layout are radius, thickness, and degree of bend. A piece of sheet metal is bent to a certain radius. The curvature of the bend is referred to as the bend radius. You can distinguish between aluminum and aluminum alloy by testing with a 10% solution of caustic soda. The purpose of a joggle is to allow clearance for a sheet or an extrusion. When bending metal, the material on the outside of the curve stretches while the material on the inside of the curve compresses. That part of the material which is not affected by either stress is the neutral line. Refer to figure 6. Determine the dimensions of A, B, and C in the flat layout. A equals 0.748 B equals 1.496, C equals 1.248.
refer to figure six. What is dimension D? 4.182. The sight line on a sheet metal flat layout to be bent in a cornice or box break is measured and marked one radius from the bend tangent line that is placed under the break. Refer to figure seven. What is dimension F? 5.936. On a sheet metal fitting layout with a single bend, allow for stretching by subtracting the setback from both legs. The aluminum alloys used in aircraft construction are usually hardened by which method? Heat treatment.